my darlings, it's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. I just realized that my lipstick is good and ate off, but it's real life people. I'm not putting any more back on. Anyway, <laughs> I was out in Wilton Matters today taking pictures in this amazing dress. Please go to my Instagram account at I am Dion Dean and show me some love over there on this fabulosity. And then also I will put a link to similar prints, similar dresses in the description box because you know I'm always thinking about you guys. But this is Dion Dean Vintage, but I will definitely try and find you some other amazing pieces. Anyway, when I'm in when I am in Wilton Manors, you know that they are there are a few thrift stores that I like to go to out of the closet, um, the Goodwill that's in that area, and Pavarello's. Pavarello's thrift store is actually, Pavarello is actually a pantry and they have a thrift store that um, the benefits go towards a pantry. So anytime I'm in that area, I like to go and see what they got going on. So let's do a shop with me and then I'll come back with what I actually did purchase. All right, so we got a long way to go here. Let's jump in. I'm not seeing anything that I'm liking. That's why I'm just kind of skipping over stuff. I don't see any print, which you know I love. What is this? Oh, that's nice. Calvin Klein, size two. It's a good spring color. Or spring summer, I should say. I'm still in spring, guys. Oh, pray for me. Yeah. This looks like a vintage something. Ruby Road, it's like a small color, I mean a small size. This is somebody's top. Animal print is a neutral, so I usually look, but it's just, it's small, so. Sanctuary. Size medium. Sanctuary is a brand I used to service when I used to do visuals for Macy's. Black pants. Now, I usually go to the black pants because you never know when you can find some aqua, some Escada, even some Madewell, but I really, I'm just not about thrifting those things right now. If I find it, they'll go right to, what you call it, um, the real wheel. I don't even want to bring them into my inventory as much as I, as much as I want to. Okay, pants. Work pants. If I see something that has, you know, a little something, something, then yeah, but I'm not just into bringing stuff into my store. Okay. It's a nice print. It is definitely <laughs> not organized, guys. So if you're looking for organization, do not come here. I love rich, vibrant colors. You know this about me. Not a surprise. Oh, this is cute. It's a little pearl though. Let's see what this little orange piece is here. Yeah, I'm not enthused. I don't even want to do I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's interesting to see what's in this store because this is a true thrift store. And all the donations go to the food pantry. So I love coming here. Because I know exactly where my money's going. Oh, look at the back of that. It's nice with some shorts. Oh, that's really nice. All right, let's keep it moving. Uh oh, this looks like a vintage something. Oh, ooh. It's like an 80 shirt, 90 shirt. and messy stuff. Let's walk back here to shoes. Before we get the shoes. Hold on, I'm distracted. <laughs> More pants. Polyester pants. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm not wanting to go through pants, so let's continue to shoes, maybe? And then to shoes. Nicole Hahn. Let's see, what are these? Look like Forever 21. Oh, Shoe Republic LA, and it was a fast fashion shoe. So, as you saw with the, with the thrift with me or shop with me, Pavarello's is a true uh, local thrift store. It's not like Goodwill where everything is, you know, shirts over here and jackets over here. And no, let me not say that. To, to some extent, it is separated, but as far as like at Goodwill, when you go and everything is kind of color coordinated and they have prints in one area and long sleeve in one area. Which, no, everything was kind of jumbled together, which I don't mind. But for those of you who like, the don't like the chaos of thrift stores this may not be the place for you this is very reminiscent of like not family thrift um the one that you guys don't like <laughs> faith farm <laughs> i get so many hate messages about faith farm. i'm like girl i don't never have to go back there they're in thrift center you guys hate those two so it's like that but it's like that okay so the first piece that i want to show you I'm gonna show it to I'm gonna show it to you because if I show it to you, I'm gonna be accountable to you, and I won't keep it. But God knows if I was in Dallas or Chicago, this beautiful sweater. I want to call it a shawl. Oh my gosh, the color. Oh my god, it's so good. It is so good. But if I keep it. Sorry guys, I should have unbuttoned this. <sighs> Maybe I just keep it just for one outfit. <sighs> just for one picture. Just keep it for one picture. The blue. Mm. Get the hair straight, get the hair wrapped. Mm. Mm. No, no, no. I'll list it and if it doesn't sell, I will keep it. This is by Sturbridge. Okay, so I love this wig, but it's so much hair for 
so much heat. So the next piece that I want to show you is this cardigan. I actually saw it on the way out the door. I saw this print and I was like, ooh, I wonder if it's plus. I love a good black and white. You guys know I've talked about it at length that this is my favorite thing to pattern mix, my favorite print to pattern mix. And I'm actually working on a black and white video and a black and white reel. So, God was just loving on me today. That's all that was. So there's that. Oh my gosh, I keep looking at this red shawl. No, Dion. Okay, so I got this fossil cross body bag, adjustable strap. Now the thing with Fossil is that it sells for me, to, but it sells on eBay. I don't even, yeah, because I literally just sold a Fossil bag um, that I got from Faith Farm on eBay. And so I'm going to, I'm going to say I'm going to cross list this, but Fossil sells for me on eBay. I don't know if it's going to sell on Posh. As well as this Fossil wallet. I believe I just sold a Fossil wallet too. Came from a Joe Mars box, but there we go. Fossil is one of those brands just like Lucky that they have a cult following and they're very long wearing, long wearing, I should say. And so um, I believe that's why people love them the way that they do. So here is, I don't know why they put the tag like in the leather. There we go. Um, this is called Vera Pele and it's made in Italy. And I like it because of the structure. It's very much like a Celine bag or just a structured, instead of stuff being slouchy, like the um, Bottega slouchy bag, this is like a traditional, how can I put it? When I think about this bag, I think about, you know what I think about? I think about the girl that's wearing this shawl is wearing this bag and she's wearing like black heels. You get what I'm saying? Like she's just a very like cool city girl. I'm always thinking about Chicago, always thinking about Chicago. And so I see this girl, she has on a white turtleneck. She had a, has on a shawl, white or black turtleneck, black, um, um, not legging, yeah, black leggings, black boots. And she's just walking around Hyde Park or Woodlawn or Kenwood in this, and she's just cool. She's going to the farmer's market and she's all right. And so, you know, that's what I shop for. In my head, I have this person that I'm shopping for. Now, that being said, I need you guys to pray for me. This bag right here, it's asymmetrical and it's huge. And you know what I'm gonna say, I don't have anything like this in my closet. I don't think you guys can see. And you know what this reminds me of? This is my, my, my coach says I'm a great manifester. And it's true. Because you know who made a bag like this? Fendi. And it was like, that was the long part of the F. And then this was a short part. And then there's an F here. I'll see if I can find a link and show you guys. But it's like F, F. And I literally was just at the store ogling it. And this is what it looks like. This looks like that Fendi bag, except it doesn't have, has a gold F right here. Mm. And then finally we have, I think another fossil bag. Another fossil bag. Some, some fossil lover probably just emptied out their, um, emptied out their closet. Sorry, the prime, the prime bus is here. Um, prime vanison, I should say. Just another fossil leather bag. Whenever I go to a store, I'm going to look for a leather bag. The only reason I wasn't able to show you guys the handbags is because I couldn't hold the phone and dig at the same time. Now, just like Faith Farm, these were like a lucky find. I do not find those type of things at Fossil. Hold on, not Fossil. They're about to knock, hold on. Oh, maybe not. Um, <laughs> I do not find these things at Fossil. I don't usually find these types of things at Pavarello, but I like to go every couple of months, just like I do with Faith Farm, just to see what's going on. And plus, it's a great store to just go and give your money because you can actually see what's going on with the food bank of people, people picking up food and that kind of thing. It's kind of like Salvation Army in that sense. You actually see where your money's going. All right, my darling. So, uh, yeah, 
that's it for me pray for me no i'm gonna put that up all of this stuff will be up by the time this video um launches and uh yeah this i don't know though you guys let me know should i keep or sell keep or sell if you want it let me know i'd rather go to another fabulous you guys know how i feel about y'all i would rather go to one of your closets than to sit in the but I mean it's it's I have a lot I have a lot I have a lot I need to list it forget it. all right that's it <laughs> I love you guys so much <laughs> bye.